my channel and so this video that I'm making today is kind of about raw foods and whether raw vegan foods is real food um <laughs> this is something that you know I have been dealing with a lot lately and I'm going through like a major turning point in my life I am in no way, shape, or form going to bend or change my life for the rest of the world. I eat a raw vegan diet based on years of being ill, years of looking and searching and finding this lifestyle and finding true healing and true health through only raw vegan foods so you know the question is what is real food and what isn't real food so this is an apple this is what real food is to me and it's not to a lot of other people so you know I guess that we have become so programmed in society that we have fallen into the matrix of brainwashing and so much conspiracies about all of these different things that we're confused we're living in a confused world about what's real and what isn't real it took me lots of years and knowledge to learn what was real and what real food is to ever turn back so you know i i have been dealing with a lot of people around me that don't really understand or have the knowledge and the lack of this knowledge is what keeps the world in the same place that it is but I don't have to follow the world, and neither do you. Anybody who's watching this, anybody who's interested in a raw vegan diet or trying to change their lifestyle and their diet due to their health that they want to improve, this would be a video to listen to what I'm about to say. Because there are so many things out there that we have blinders on about that we don't know about because if we're not looking in that direction for it we don't see it you know it's like if somebody gives you a set of directions and you're driving it's easy to get to when you know where it is but it's not easy to get to if you have no idea so if you don't look for it and you don't seek it you may not ever find it so I looked for it and I seeked it because I wanted healing in my body. I wanted relief from all of the brain fog that I was dealing with, which is absolutely horrible. Nobody lives in my body. People that are around me that are telling me that it's okay to eat ice cream with dairy once in a while or eat chocolate don't understand what I understand about my body, about the human body in general and what a raw vegan diet is about and there's a lot of such misleading information out there about different things and of course you've got the protein thing and everybody thinks you're not getting enough protein but there's also a lot of people that think that your bones are going to fall apart because you're not eating dairy and you're not eating things that will make your bones stronger or whatever things that they're thinking about but the truth of the matter is is that there are a lot of things out there that 
are more important for your bones than calcium. And I'm going to talk about that in my next video because that's something that I looked into quite a bit. When I first became raw vegan, I actually was really concerned about that. So I really highly read into it and studied it. And there's so much misconception about all of that whole calcium thing. You know, I've never felt health healthier in my entire life as I do right now. And it took a lot of going through the sludge in my body to kind of open me up to the clearing out, clearing out the brain fog. And in order to do that, you really have to have a totally clean system in your body. You know, you can't have all the sludge and the biofilms and all of the stuff that's in your gut. Your gut has to be cleaned out in order to be able to take in all these foods that people think, <laughs> and I say people, but it's most people that I'm around aren't real foods that you, you need. I don't know, I guess something in a box that has all of these chemicals that are going to be what is going to nourish your body. And the truth of the matter is, is that there are so many chemicals, especially like there's something in bread, which will actually set the brain to think that you're hungry all the time. It's actually an opioid. It's, it's in the form of an opioid. And people are walking around on opioids when they're eating bread and they're thinking that they're hungry all the time. But the truth of the matter is, is that when you stop all this addictive foods, you start to crave what's real food, which is something like this and many other things, different colors, vibrant colors. And when your body starts living off of living foods and enzymes, that's something your body needs that you're killing, eating all these cooked chemicals. And there's just so many things. I know too much to sit there and eat a piece of chocolate. Even if I was at my very worst moment, would I ever eat a dairy ice cream? And somebody said to me one day, well, you could if you wanted to. Well, there's a lot of things I can do if I wanted to, but I don't want to. And if you don't want to, you don't have to either. But you have to have the knowledge and understand why you're not eating these foods and why it's so important to rid yourself of these foods before you can actually get the good out of a raw vegan diet. I mean, if you're still eating breads, pastas, cereals, all these addictive foods, and you're still eating pizza and meats and all of this stuff, you're, you're not ever going to absorb any of the vibrant foods to ever get any good out of the diet. It, it doesn't even know where to go. Like, you know, once in a while people will say, well, I guess I'll have a salad and that'll be healthy after they've been eating pizza breads, pasta, cereals, hamburgers, steak, whatever. And basically what happens is because your microbiome has never changed in your body, you're, it doesn't even know where to go. It's like it's falling into your body and it's just kind of gets lost in all the other sludge and doesn't go anywhere. So this is why you still feel sick and the food doesn't satisfy you because it doesn't have that opioid brain altering stuff that you get in all those chemicals, not just the opioids and bread, but so much other stuff, dairy and all that. It's so addictive. It just turns on that switch in your brain and causes you to think that you're hungry all the time. And the truth is you're really not hungry all the time when you're on living foods because you feel nourished if you're doing it right. And there are right and wrong ways of doing this. I know that there are because you, I, in the beginning, I had to learn. You have to relearn certain things. You can't go your whole life just eating one way and then turn around and learn how to do this another way. So if anybody out there is confused about 
whether this is real food, whether this is really nourishing to your body, my suggestion is that if you're interested in it and you want to do it, the best thing to do is to get knowledge about it. Start reading some books. Start off like I did. Read the China Study. That's the first book I so read. I guess the best way to just break it all down is that, you know, we live in an addictive world. Uh, people are addicted to foods. People are addicted to other people. I spent most of my life not believing in myself and being addicted to other people, other people that give me some form of high or something that I think I'm going to get from certain people. Uh, that's my last addiction to to end because I, I had an addiction to alcohol. I had an addiction to drugs. I had an addiction to foods. Um, working through all these addictions and I have a clear mind. I have uh, no brain fog and I can work on all of these things. It doesn't mean that our emotions as raw vegans are completely well. You know, we, we have to get well first in our bodies and then we have to work on getting well and figuring out what people uplift us and what people drag us down and you know I'm not gonna have anybody in my life telling me to eat real food and go back to eating chocolate and dairy and you know putting things back into my body that are gonna make me confused sick and diseased so we have to decide this is a lifestyle change this is a lifestyle choice and this is something that we have to decide what we think real food is or what we want to nourish our bodies with and it is our choice that's what it all comes down to and I choose to stay on a raw vegan living foods diet because it has changed my life miraculously and it's what I call real food. Real food for a real body. Living foods for a living body. I don't want to feel dead. I want to feel alive. So if anybody is interested in this lifestyle, you can look on my Instagram page. You can find my free ebook in my links. And, uh, you know, it's got a few pages of raw food recipes. It has an inspiring story, things that I've healed in my body before and after pictures. And I hope you check it out. And I hope that somebody got something out of this video. This is what I always hope for and why I work so hard to make the videos because I really want to reach out to people because it has changed my life so much that I really love if it was just one person that I can change their thoughts, change their life, and make them excited as I am about this. Maybe go out and get a book and start reading and change your life. Because even if you're sitting on the couch and you're a couch potato eating chips, you can always change your life at any time. It's never too late. So I hope you all have a great day. God bless. Thanks for watching. Bye.